Hi friends and welcome to your daily devotional for Wednesday, August 5th, 2020. Today I invite you to pay attention to what is going on in your body. What parts hurt and are in need of attention? What parts feel fine and joyful? Regardless of how your body feels or your image of your body, know that it is a creation of God and that it bears God's image. Give thanks to God for this wonderful gift. We begin today by turning to Psalm 78. We'll be reading verses 1 through 8. And this reading and all of the readings come from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears toward the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a proverb. I'll declare riddles from days long gone, ones that we've heard and learned about, ones that our ancestors told us. We won't hide them from our descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the praise due to the Lord and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. He established a law for Jacob and set up instruction for Israel, ordering our ancestors to teach them to their children. This is so that the next generation and children not yet born will know these things and so they can rise up and tell their children to put their hope in God, never forgetting God's deeds, but keeping God's commandments. And so that they won't become like their ancestors, a rebellious, stubborn generation, a generation whose heart wasn't set firm and whose spirit wasn't faithful to God. Let us pray. O oh God, creator, redeemer, and sanctifier, we thank you that we may be together to hear your word of life and hope. We are all equals before you. You know our life in its deepest recesses. You have not forgotten us. You love us, and again and again you will the empty hands which we stretch out toward you. Through the suffering and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, you took our darkness and fear upon yourself in order that we might know light and joy. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 16. We'll be reading verses 2 through 15 and then continuing on with 31 through 35. Listen for God's word. The whole Israelite community complained against Moses and Aaron in the desert. The Israelites said to them, Oh, how we wish that the Lord had just put us to death while we were still in the land of Egypt. There we could sit by the pots cooking meat and eat our fill of bread. Instead, you've brought us out into this desert to starve this whole assembly to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, I'm going to make bread rain down from the sky for you. The people will go out each day and gather just enough for that day. In this way, I'll test them to see whether or not they follow my instruction. On the sixth day, when they measure out what they have collected, it will be twice as much as they collected on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, This evening you will know that it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt. And in the morning you will see the Lord's glorious presence, because your complaints against the Lord have been heard. Who are we? Why blame us? Moses continued, The Lord will give you meat to eat in the evening and your fill of bread in the morning. 
because the Lord heard the complaints you made against him. Who are we? Your complaints aren't against us, but against the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, say to the whole Israelite community, come near to the Lord because he's heard your complaints. As Aaron spoke to the whole Israelite community, they turned to look toward the desert. And just then, the glorious presence of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses, I've heard the complaints of the Israelites. Tell them at twilight you will eat meat and in the morning you will have your fill of bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. In the evening, a flock of quail flew down and covered the camp. And in the morning, there was a layer of dew all around the camp. When the layer of dew lifted, there on the desert surface were thin flakes, as thin as frost on the ground. When the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, what is it? They didn't know what it was. Moses said to them, this is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The Israelite people called it manna. It was like coriander seed, white and tasted like honey wafers. Moses said, this is what the Lord has commanded. Let an omer of it be kept safe for future generations so that they can see the food that I used to feed you in the desert when I brought you out of the land of Egypt. Moses said to Aaron, take a jar and put one full omer of manna in it. Then set it in the Lord's presence where it should be kept safe for future generations. Aaron did as the Lord commanded Moses and he put in front of the covenant document for safekeeping. The Israelites ate manna for 40 years until they came to a livable land. They ate manna until they came to the border of the land of Canaan. The Israelites often get a bad rap. But have you ever been through something really difficult and then later on forget how horrible it actually was? Why do you think we do that? Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 15, verses 32 through 39. Listen again for God's word. Now Jesus called his disciples and said, I feel sorry for the crowd because they have been with me for three days and have nothing to eat. I don't want to send them away hungry for fear that they won't have enough strength to travel. His disciples replied, where are we going to get enough food in the wilderness to satisfy such a big crowd? Jesus said, how much bread do you have? They responded, seven loaves and a few fish. He told the crowd to sit on the ground. He took the seven loaves of bread and the fish after he gave thanks. He broke them into pieces and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. Everyone ate until they were full. The disciples collected seven baskets full of leftovers. 4,000 men ate, plus women and children. After dismissing the crowds, Jesus got into the boat and came to the region of Magadan. And this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This story of the feeding of the multitude is found in all four Gospels. And it tells of the abundance that we can find if we stick with Jesus. Where have you seen God's abundance in your own life?
let us pray. Lord, you alone know how much patience I need. Open my eyes when I have difficult times and trials to help me see them from your side and to realize that they are meant to teach me patience. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are always with me and that when I look up, I see you. Everything else becomes small compared to this joy. Amen. Friends, may the God of peace make you holy and the power of the Spirit sustain you until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go in peace. Stay healthy. I'll see you tomorrow.